When it comes to building a Christian ministry in a secularized culture, there are many things that you have to think about. And when I think about our ministry, there are two specific things that I want to share with you. One of those is the research and the amount of time spent studying and understanding cultural and technological evolution, the advances that the culture is making and, and also how technology continues to change. And then the second thing that I think about is how to establish our ministry generationally, not just for the time that I am on earth, but I hope that our ministry will exist long after I am gone. But in order to have a ministry that is perpetual, we do have to think about what's happening in the culture, and we also have to think about technological advances. When I started the ministry in 2008, I never heard the words demonetized, shadow banning, ghosting, or deplatforming, or even cancel culture. But those are real things that happen all the time, and not just to Christian organizations, but it's happening throughout the culture as you are familiar. And so as I think of how that applies to our ministry, uh, we want to communicate the message of Christ, realizing that the practical message of Christ is hostile and is growing in more hostility to a world that really is rejecting the message that we have. Therefore, as we grow more dependent on social media platforms, we're, we're setting ourselves up to be vulnerable to where if anyone comes across any of our content, uh, all they have to do is signal to the uh, powers that be, and we could be deplatformed just in a moment. A couple of years ago, I wrote an article that LinkedIn sent me a message and said that you can't put this article on our platform. There's another social media platform called Medium. They said the same thing that you cannot post here. When you put your content on social media platforms, what you're doing is you're sharecropping. That means that you do not own the land where you are building your content and establishing your resources. And so we always have to keep that in view. We are a technological ministry. We do not have brick and mortar. We have virtual assistants all over the country. We have built our brick and mortar as a sanctification a big box sanctification store that we put up in cyberspace where all people uh, can come and access our resources freely. But because of that, there is a vulnerability. There is a liability because in many ways we are sharecropping. And so that makes our website critically important to this mission that we have. We want to build a resource center where we can put our resources in it, we can own it, and we don't have to be so vulnerable to put it in, out on social media where we can be vaporized at any moment. Well, in order to do that, I want to share in this video why we are making a transition from YouTube to Rumble. Rumble is a video platform like YouTube, and so you can call them like kissing cousins, but they're also quite different. When we put our resources on YouTube, we can be canceled because of the censoring that they do. There are many things that we write about from a bibliocentric perspective that YouTube just blatantly rejects, and we can't put those resources out there. Over the past couple of years, I've been following this platform called Rumble, and Rumble has really a first, admin, first amendment uh, perspective on how uh, they do, uh, how they allow folks to participate on their platform, meaning that you can put your message out there as long as it's not illegal and there's no pornography. And so they truly believe in the First Amendment, which is a wonderful thing. And so as I thought about that, I began to think that as this platform continues to mature, as far as getting all the bugs out of it, then there will be a time when we will want to post on Rumble and make that our primary video platform. Well, that day has come, and so we are making that transition to Rumble. Now, we will continue to put videos on YouTube. YouTube will not change as far as how we use it, but what we're doing is we have a safety valve, and that safety valve is we want to build up our Rumble platform platform 
just in case YouTube says we don't want you here anymore, then we can continue on without skipping a beat. Now there is another video platform called Vimeo that we have been using for years and I just want to share briefly how we use Vimeo on our website. And so when I load a video to YouTube, I will now load that same video to Rumble but we have always loaded that video to Vimeo as well. And then when we go to Vimeo, what we do is we click the proper button so that we can hide that video from Vimeo or hide it from the internet rather. And so when the spiders crawl the web, Google cannot find this video because we have hidden it from the entire world. And then we de designate one place where this video can be seen. It can't be seen any other place. And of course that place is our website. And so what we have are three video platforms. We, we are building them out for three specific reasons. We are on YouTube because it is the most popular of all the platforms, and so we want to reach as many people as long as we can, but we also recognize that's a vulnerability. And so we're building our own YouTube-like platform on Rumble that will do the same thing, and so we want to create it as a safety valve. And then we have Vimeo as a, a, a third safety valve where we can hide videos on our website. And so if YouTube deplatformed us, if Rumble were to ever to deplatform us, we have all of our videos hitting on Vimeo and you can come to our website and watch our videos where we cannot be deplatformed. And so that's a little bit of a deep dive into the geekiness of how we do videos. But the main thing is now we are on Rumble and we would love for you to subscribe to our Rumble videos, to share our Rumble uh, page and so that more folks can begin to watch and I trust that we'll be able to develop a following there. And, we, and again, we'll continue to do YouTube, but we want to do both simultaneously just in case YouTube does not like us any longer.